I am a failure. I have failed in numerous relationships. I have failed in marriage. I have failed my two young boys. I have failed in school. I have failed in business. And the list can go on and on and on. Every day I hear of statistics of how businesses are collapsing more times than they even succeed. The percentage of new businesses that are falling is very high. More people are divorcing now than staying together. And the list of failures can go on and on and on. One thing that failure does so effortlessly is that it leads you to whine, to self-pity, blaming others, and many other self-defeating behaviors that can overwhelm us and keep us from truly achieving and attaining our dreams. For me, time had come to do something about my failures and my transgressions. The time came for me to re-engineer every aspect about my life. And I'm going to use these few minutes that you've graciously given me to share my lessons of the things that I've learned along the way on the streets called Life Avenue. With my many failures and being able to learn and rise up from failure, does that mean I've stopped failing? No. But I do feel that I'm succeeding in little ways. My marriage is now growing in strength to strength. My sons are healing. Our relationship as father and sons is healing day by day. I've rearranged my life and gained more respect for my family, my peers and all. I've landed a new job and I'm slowly getting out of debt. Is this success? To me, yes. This is my success because I sure do feel good and happy that I'm in a better place now than I was a couple of years back. The worst is in the past and ahead is a new road that I'm able to navigate properly from the lessons that I've learned. Can this happen to you? Yes, it can. I'm sure each and every one of you here right now, you're going through your own challenges, be it small or big. Challenges are challenges. Failures are failures. And I'm here to tell you, if you have failed, it's possible to use that failure or failures to your own advantage and come out a champion. And that's when you embrace failure. That's when you look failure in the face and tell it, it's me and you. Let's do this. Each one of us is terrified by failure, and that's a fact. We will do anything and everything to hide our shortcomings and failures because we'll be so hurt, we'll be so embarrassed when our failures are revealed to others. We fear how failure will define or shape our sense of self-worth, our sense of who we are. As it is right now, things are really bad when it comes to failure, that people who are experiencing failure right now, be it failing in relationships, failing an exam, failing to get that promotion, being fired, separation or divorce, these people are being thrown into severe depression to the point where some are even taking their own lives. Failure to many of us is a life-changing crisis, but believe me, it does not have to be that way. As I've mentioned, I have failed so many times. And in my own life, I am sure I'm going to fail again and again and again. Some time back when I was reeling from my failures, I was completely devastated. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't eat. At times, I was unable to do much. I kept on resigning to my own fate or whatever was to happen next. The thought that I could not recover from my failures as a man kept on ringing in my mind. And I kept on thinking, Eddie, you're such a failure. You're such a loser. One of the downsides of being on this side is that you're your worst cheerleader and yet you're supposed to be actually your number one fan. The biggest mistake I did was to let failure define me. My turnaround in embracing my failures happened at my lowest of my lowest. I lost my family. I was on the verge of losing my marriage. I had failed as a man. I had no job and I was pretty much in a very dark void. As I told you in my Engage video, which you watched, I met a stranger in Diani. His name is Peter, who more or less became my Damascus moment. We got to know each other, and for a long time, I opened up to him in a way that I'd never done before about the station I was in my life at the time. Sometimes we go, people who go through dark times, all they need is to be heard, especially men. You might not have all the solutions for all the, the people you meet who are going through a tough time, or just 
being listened to would be the best thing that could happen to that person. So Peter held my hand and through a long time of self-searching and he helped me to see life differently. I managed to rise up and confront my demons and my failures. Something special happens when we embrace failure as men. The lessons are immense if taken in stride. You will learn how to pick yourself up and try again and again. With each effort, you make through every failure. As a man, you will learn how to approach the problem at hand in, with grit, with a little more wisdom and more humility. You will learn how to fail gracefully as a man. You will allow yourself to fail more and believe me, you will emerge stronger and resilient. And that's when you become a fault tolerant man. So how do, we go, how do we go about embracing failure? I have six reasons why I embrace failure as a man and also as Eddie Kimani. Failure is not necessarily or essentially a bad thing. We have been conditioned to avoid it, but there are plenty of reasons to change our perspective and embrace failure. Reason number one, failure schools us. Failure gives us an emotional experience that we can take into lessons. It also gives you new ways to approach success. Think of your failures as an experiment. When you fail and there are new lessons learned, try again with a new knowledge. I also ask myself questions. What happened that I failed? Could I have done anything to prevent it? Are there things I could do or redo better to have avoided it? Was I in the right environment and there at the right time? How can I use this experience to not repeat the same mistake again? What can change so as not to fall in the same situation again? Reason number two, failure makes us tougher and stronger. Failure strengthens our character. And with each effort, you grow a little stronger. It's the same as weightlifters in the gym. The more they work out lifting weights, the more the tissue is damaged, but in the end, the tissue will heal bigger and stronger than before. Reason number three, failure motivates and inspires us. We should not let discouragement hold us back at all. Failure will help our desires to burn more. We all know MJ, not Michael Jackson. He's also a great, but I mean Michael Jordan, the great basketballer. He is a man of many successes but he has gone through fire to be where he is right now. And he once said it was good that he went through what he went through in his early years because it made him know what disappointment felt like. He knew that he did not want to have that feeling of disappointment ever again and that led to some great work ethic that would elevate Michael Jordan to the legendary status that he has up to this date. If failure makes you work harder or focus more, it's an experience with tremendous value. Reason number four, failure will encourage in us. Become more comfortable with failure. It will enable you to make more or take more risks. If you know you can stomach it, it will no longer, stress, uh, it will no longer uh, make you fear. I used to try new things, but I will never do it fully. It's one thing to want to try and another thing to doing it and failing it and convincing yourself to try again. Eventually, failing becomes normal. Reason number five, failure leaves us open to better opportunities. I was once turned down for a job that I was offered, but I thought I was the best candidate, but things happened. I didn't get it. Unemployment can be very scary and rejection can be very humiliating. After a very long time of being angry, very bitter, after a while, after so many years, I was offered the same, same position that I did not get. Now this is what I believe happened. It's easy to perceive failure as a misfortune, but maybe, maybe it's nature's way of making sure that you wind up where you are best suited and at the right time. And finally, reason number six, failure makes success a little sweeter. You'll agree with me, victory is much sweeter after you've tasted defeat. Life would not be fun anyway. If everything would go the way you want it to go, you win in everything. Know that failure is just part of the game. We expand so much energy running from failure. Let's try and embrace it. Because I believe failure must be one of the most important and primary ingredients of success. And as I conclude, 
It has been said before that failure is the heartbeat of discovery. We stumble a lot trying new things as men. And as men, we do that a lot because of the many pressures that we have in life. And the trick is to give up failing fast. Instead, let's fail better as men. Well, I hope I keep on failing. I hope that I'll keep on falling again and again and never stop trying to become the best version of myself as a man. And I hope the same for you too. Thank you.